All right, everybody, what's going on? I thought I'd do a quick little video on finding probability using Venn diagrams. So let's go ahead and get started. So it says suppose E is equal to point, the probability of E is equal to point 0.3, the probability of F is equal to point 0.51, and the probability of E intersect F is point 0.19. And they want us to find each of these probabilities. All right, so to do this, we're going to make it, we're going to draw a Venn diagram. All right, so let's go ahead and just draw it right here. All right, and we've got E and we've got F. All right, so first let's fill out the Venn diagram. So the first thing we want to do is we want to put in the intersection, the point 0.19. And we know that this is point 0.19. That's where they intersect. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to write the numbers in a different color so we can see them good. All right, now it tells us the probability of E is 0.3. So to get to, to fill out this circle here, this E here, it's 0.3. Well, notice in E right here, we already have a 0.19. So what this means, this 0.3, is that this entire circle has to equal 0.3. So what would go here? Well, that would be 0.3 minus 0.19 which is 0.11, so that's 0.11. And then, then the same thing for F is 0.51, so the whole entire circle has to add up to this 0.51. So we have 0.51 minus 0.19, and that is equal to 0.32. So this is 0.32. All right, well, we're not finished. Because remember, this box represents the entire universal set. It represents everything. So remember, everything adds up to what? To one. So everything in this box has to add up to one. So what number goes out here? Well, it's going to be one minus 0.11 minus 0.19 minus 0.32 and that's going to give us 0.38. So that's 0.38 outside. All right. So let's let me erase this so we can, so we'll have some room. All right. So let's answer part A. So part A wants to know the probability of E union F. And I don't know why I put an equal sign right there. All right, so the prob probability of E union F. So there's, there's several ways you can do, well, I wouldn't say several ways, but there's different ways you can go about it. Uh, you can think of E union F. You can just kind of figure out what E union F is, and you'll know what you need to add up. What, what I would like to do, or show you, just in case it gets kind of, you know, kind of messy or something. At this point, if you're doing probability using Venn diagrams, you've learned how to shade Venn diagrams. You know how to shade the Venn diagrams. So, if you shade in E union F, so, if we shade in E, and then we shade in F, all right? So what is union? Union would be everywhere there's a line, right? So all of the circles will be shaded in. Both circles will be shaded in. And there's, there's E, there's F. And, and let me see if I can draw this a little darker here so we can see the circles. All right. 
So what do I have to add up? I have to add up all the numbers that are in the shaded region. And you can see that's the point 11, the point 19, and the point 32. So this probability is point 11 plus point 19 plus point 32, and that equals point 62. And that would be your answer to that one. All right. Now, now keep in mind, you don't have to draw the Venn diagram and shade it. If you can, if you can picture what E union F is, if you can picture that and you can see the numbers, see you got a E union F. That's everything in E plus everything in F plus everything that's in both of them, which is this, this, and this. All right, you can do it like that without drawing the Venn diagram, but sometimes it just makes it easier to do the Venn diagram. So let's do B, that's the probability of E prime intersect F. So once again, let's draw the circles. There's E, there's F. Now let's shade in E prime with vertical lines. And then let's shade in F, shade in F with horizontal lines, okay, because we need E prime intersect F. So I shaded in E prime, the complement of E, with vertical lines, and then I shaded in F with horizontal lines. And we want the intersection of the two. So you can see the intersection of the two that's where the lines cross. That's just this piece right here. You see that? It's just that part, which when we come over here, we can see it's just this area right here. See, it's 0.32. So that answer is 0.32. And there's your answer. All right. You see, you see how easy it makes it doing these probabilities using Venn diagrams? So now let's do C. That's the probability of E intersect F prime. And look, this one's going to be just the same thing as B. It's just the complements on F instead of E. So, you know, let, let's, just, let's see if we can talk through this one without drawing a picture of it. All right, so, so E, E, is all of that circle E there. F prime is everything outside of F. And you can see everything outside of F and E, that's gonna be just this part right in here. You see that? It's, it's the same thing as what we just did. The other one, when the complement was switched, it was just this part of F. But see, now the complement's on F instead of E, and we get right here, you would go about drawing it the same way as I just did. And so that would be 0.11. All right, and then we've got D is the probability of E prime union F prime. All right, so what, what would we get here? Well, Let's, let's draw a Venn diagram for this one. So there's E, there's F, and I want E prime, so I'm going to do E prime with horizontal lines. And then I'm going to do F prime with vertical lines. All right. Now, what do I want? I want the union of the two. So remember, union is everywhere there's a line because it's everything from this, from one set, everything from the other set, plus everything that they have in common into one set. So where's the only place that there's no line? 
that's right here where they where they overlap see there's no line there so what would we add up we would add up everything where there's a line everything except for that right there in the middle so we would add the point one one the point three two and the point three eight so that's point one one plus point three two plus point three eight which that is equal to point eight one and there's your answer all right so I hope that helped. Uh, that's just one problem on doing probabilities with Venn diagrams. Maybe I'll do another video that's longer where it does a bunch of examples and stuff, a bunch of different kind of examples. But for now, I hope this helps. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Later.